Yeah. Maybe I should take these off. Oh, Happy. sweet. It's like pork for me. We're, we're having alcohol delivered to this live video. It's just one of those I days. It's <laughs> only one of those days. <laughs> how you finish the day? That's how we do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready? We are outside of? We're at Cal Soy Cal today. Soy. Yeah, we're at, we're at Cal Soy in Bremerton. Great Thai restaurant. So uh, come check it out. Has a wonderful patio area, so Julie and I are. Yeah. Why not Broadcast switch up switch from... up the venue a little bit here? <laughs> we're, we're hungry. And we're just hungry, actually. We're just, we're just... Yeah. This won't this might not be the norm, but it's, it's yeah, today. I'm hungry. Let's get let's go do some dinner, some yep. lunch. Yeah, Joey, we just hang out together all the time. We uh, it's dinner know. time, right? Okay. Welcome, Steph Dupuis with Dupuis team at Keller Williams West Sound. Joy Walker with Keller Williams West Sound Dupuis team. Yeah, and this week we're bringing to you the same. The same info, no different info, but the same topic. Yes. I got that switched around. The so, Kitsap Weekly Market Stats. You got it. All right. So, wow. The big news this week is the, what What did you just the, say? The, the inventory. The, the total inventory, we're just under, just under 400. It 396. Is. 396. Yeah. yeah, beginning of the year we're around 100, so. Yeah, we were looking back on March and it was like 130, 135. Right. Okay, so we're almost at 400, we're at 396. Big news, um, some quick rundown this week. I'm gonna steal this from Joey here. Uh, now, I, I just stole the cool sheet. Uh, 131 new listings this week. Um, so that's still staying high. Um, 184 pending, 136 sold. So market's very active, 186 sold. People are really, you know, buyers are still hungry. Um, and here's some numbers that uh, are really sticking out to me. 42 price reductions this week. 42. I haven't seen a number that high in quite a while. Yeah, it's, it's a, that's definitely the highest I've seen. Right, yeah, it, it will be. Uh, you know, in the, easily in the last uh, seven months, seven, eight months. So uh, price reductions up to 42. Holy smokes, folks. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing more expires. We actually had zero expires uh, this week, which surprises me. Six canceled though. So the expires and the canceled, uh, if the price reductions continue like they are, uh, we'll probably next see expires and canceled. Yeah. And it makes sense because mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing that growth in the inventory and right. with more supply, I mean, sometimes it lowers the price down. So it does. We're some, it so does. We're seeing those. And it's showing maybe too aggressive of sellers. Sellers think they can just put their Pinto, their Ford Pinto on the market for a million bucks. And, yeah. And the market's telling them that no one's going to buy their junk for a million bucks. Okay. Um, buyers, the sales price list price is 105.66% this week. So what that means is you have to sell, uh, if, or I'm sorry, if you want an opportunity at um, getting a home under market or under escrow, under contract, they can't talk right now, you need to uh, probably offer six percent uh above list price in order to have a chance at yeah on average uh, and that really depends average. depends on the yeah. home too as yeah. far as what you think the competitiveness will be in that home well we had some more. surprises this week i mean we had some homes we had offered more than six percent but we also what else did we experience this I week mean, we've seen some homes right at list yeah get through carrie we had one what did we do we had a client the 500 five they're yeah. gonna offer 550 but we she was gonna escalate to 550 yeah yeah some more but we got them only 25 over which is which was about four uh, percent over list price we got them under contract so um yeah carrie's like leave me alone i want to look at the menu <laughs> okay <laughs> i could see it on your face <laughs> i know that look okay it was yeah it was i'm hungry leave me alone <laughs> yeah we're all kind of <laughs> i understand I understand all right uh 15 homes out of 136 were sold for under list price this week 94 sold for over list price this week. So if you're a buyer, I pay attention to those stats. It's still a very competitive buyer's market. Buyers, uh, I don't know, I cringe and I have, I wonder about it, uh, when buyers call and they say, uh, what are some code words? Uh, I need to get a deal, yeah. or I'll, I'll negotiate yeah. and yeah. get it Do you think if better. I were to go under on this one, they would accept, you know, it's- That's it's, the phrase I hear a lot. If you yeah. thought I'd go under this one, would they accept? 
Man, first, no one knows if they're going to accept or not. And, and going under on any list price right now, statistically, according to these stats, uh, the answer is a big fat no. Yeah. So get that message out. Right. Um, a big fat no. Yeah. Another thing that's interesting, and we'll probably dive into this maybe next week, is hey, Julie, the, uh, to the, ends the, the, the forbearance. Yeah. Being oh, concluded. Oh, this no, let's just do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we're a little tired out. and hungry. So you're going to get, <laughs> but, but we're not hangry. So, no, let's do the full bear. So, the moratorium, the national moratorium expired on Saturday. Saturday. That was July 30th or 31st. 31st, right? yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter to Washingtonians because ours expires on September 30th. So we still have another month mm -hmm. or two here. months. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're probably, we're already seeing some activity from landlords, tenants and such uh, dealing with this. However, from a market standpoint, if, if I was a buyer or a seller, if you wanna know what's gonna be happening with that, we have an advantage uh, from watching the market with this because you know ours isn't gonna happen until September 30th. We're also a judicial state, so things always happen in Washington much slower than elsewhere in the country because it has to go through a court system, which slows it the hell down, right? All right, so if you want to be able to predict the future, all you have to do is watch the other states. Watch states where the moratorium ends sooner. Watch states where there are non-judicial states or foreclosures, or <clears throat> basically they can foreclose much faster. Uh, Right now, I'm hearing Missouri might be one to watch. You know, usually those states in the South, you know, are states to watch. So uh, <laughs> it's not a political statement. That's just a statistical statement. It's a fact. It's, a, it's <laughs> what we call facts here at the Dupuis team. Okay. So, <laughs> so watch those other areas. I mean, I mean, it's a fact. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So that's, that's a, big, a that's a big topic. We'll probably well, dive that's into a that. whole another show. Yeah. Maybe next week we'll have yeah. a special special edition. Yeah. Special edition how yeah the, the Yeah, yeah. Special. Yeah, if you think what that's this means if it, yeah, story. if you think that's coming, here's how you watch it and know and stuff. Um, what did happen is the US Census Bureau published their estimate on foreclosures and evictions. Uh, from the end of the moratorium and they estimate 4.7 million people will be foreclosed uh, or evicted that's their estimate and they also broke it down by state uh, it's quite a report it was published this week they do a weekly report every week uh, it was week 33 if you want to go look it up uh, maybe we could hey Megan welcome home Megan got married a few a couple weeks ago um, and uh, <laughs> I love your so, shout outs yeah just, okay whoa. it's really fun <laughs> uh so so we'll dive deeper into that and um into the forbearance and the evictions and maybe get a post up to a link on the u.s census bureau uh statistics for those who want to geek out and and get, i love geeking out on that stuff and watch that 4.7 million is a huge number uh for some perspective we're looking at what they're estimating is a, a wave of 4.7 million uh, foreclosures or evictions, and they're not able to separate that out. We don't know how many are evictions, probably a lot more evictions and forbearances. They don't know how many are forbearances. Um, so they, they don't have that broken down. We just don't know. The other thing about it is 4.7 million, many people have no concept of what that means to us. Uh, but we do understand what the 2008 recession was like. In 2008, dude, your background music isn't helping. All right. In 2008, we had about 300,000 uh, foreclosures per year over a 10 year period, which added up to 3.8 million foreclosures over a 10 year. I did say that well. Right, it was 3.8 million foreclosures over a 10 year period, which broke down to about 300,000 a year. Okay. She got it. I did. <laughs> Thanks. We it. better wrap this up because I think my beer's getting warm. Okay. Hey, thank you. Hey, no problem. Joey yeah. Walker. Joey, Kelly went, Williams, Joey was out of the, the office team. last week. We missed him. Yes, you came back in the swing of I'm things. I'm so here. glad. I, it's, it's much better with you here, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Joey Walker, Stephanie Dupuis, both with Dupuis team. If you found this valuable and you enjoyed it, and and please share this with your family and your friends. 
and your coworkers and your dog and your neighbor. Uh, share it with everybody you know. Um, promote us, basically. Uh, thanks. We appreciate you guys. And hey, Irene. Um, and um, we'll see you right here next week. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube page. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good week.